Hello and welcome back to Heroes. In today's video unveiling the mysteries of Barabbas, a biblical perspective, welcome to our channel, where we uncover hidden truths and untold stories. Prepare to embark on a journey into the mysterious world of Barabbas as we reveal facts that may surprise you. Learn more about this enigmatic figure and its relevance today. Stay tuned as we uncover intriguing details about Barabbas that you never knew existed. Unveiling Hidden Truths Facts about Barabbas you don't know. Discover the intriguing tale of Barabbas and its significance in biblical history. Next, we dive into the historical context surrounding Barabbas. Contrary to popular belief, there's more to his story than meets the eye. Discover the truth about his role during the time of Pontius Pilate and the events leading to his release. And what about the controversy surrounding Barabbas? Join us as we explore the theories and speculations that challenge traditional narratives, including the intriguing possibility of his identity. Stay tuned as we uncover more surprising facts and delve deeper into the mysteries of Barabbas. Let's start with the etymology of Barabbas. Did you know that the name Barabbas has roots in ancient languages? Join us as we explore its linguistic origins and unravel its significance in biblical history. Barabbas, according to the New Testament, was a prisoner chosen by the crowd in Jerusalem over Jesus to be pardoned and released by Roman governor Pontius Pilate at the Passover feast. In Jerusalem during Passover, Pontius Pilate, the governor of Judea, could choose to release one prisoner by popular acclaim. Once, the crowd had to decide whether to free Barabbas or Jesus. They picked Barabbas and Jesus was sentenced to crucifixion. Pilate agreed reluctantly. Matthew only mentions Barabbas as a notorious prisoner. Mark and Luke describe him as someone involved in a riot, likely one of the rebels against the Roman authority who had committed murder. Some scholars argue that the custom of releasing a prisoner at Passover, known as the Paschal Pardon, is solely mentioned in the Gospels and might not be historically accurate. The name of this figure in Gospel manuscripts varies. Most commonly, he's referred to as Barabbas. However, some manuscripts give him the first name Jesus, making him Jesus Barabbas or Jesus Bar Rabban. Modern scholars consider these versions original, unraveling the origins of Barabbas, exploring the name and its historical context etymology. The name Barabbas has roots in ancient languages, shedding light on its significance. In Biblical Greek, it appears as Baraban, Bar Rabban, possibly reflecting Jewish Palestinian Aramaic as Bar Rabban, Bar Rabban, meaning son of our rabbi master. Another form, Barabbas, traces back to Jewish Palestinian Aramaic as Bir Abba, Bar Abba, translating to son of Abba the father, suggesting a patronymic Aramaic origin. Interestingly, Abba appears as a personal name in historical records and Jewish texts from the first century. Historicity. The historical accuracy of the Barabbas narrative has sparked debate among scholars. Max de Mont questions its credibility, highlighting inconsistencies in the portrayal of Roman authority yielding to civilian pressure. He challenges the authenticity of the alleged custom of Privilegium Pascale, only found in the Gospels. However, scholars like Craig A. Evans and N.T. Wright argue for its historicity, citing evidence from ancient texts and historical records. The resemblance between the names Jesus and Barabbas in some manuscripts fuels speculation about the narrative's authenticity. Some scholars argue that this similarity lends credence to the story, suggesting that a Christian writer would not invent a name so closely resembling Jesus for a fictional character. A minority of scholars propose a controversial theory that Barabbas and Jesus were the same person, a notion that challenges traditional interpretations of the narrative. Anti-Semitism the story of Barabbas has been weaponized throughout history to fuel anti-Semitic sentiments, attributing blame for Jesus' crucifixion to the Jewish people. This interpretation, known as Jewish deicide, has perpetuated stereotypes and prejudice against Jews. However, Pope Benedict XVI offers a different perspective, emphasizing that the Greek word oklos, oklos, in Mark 15, 615 refers to the crowd, rather than specifically to Jewish people, challenging the notion of collective guilt. In conclusion, the narrative of Barabbas offers insight into linguistic, prompting ongoing scholarly discourse and reflection on its significance. Barabbas' scholarly discussions delve into the socio-political context of the era, seeking to understand the public's mindset. Barabbas' modern perspectives examine the narrative through contemporary eyes, 
often questioning the veracity and motives behind the biblical account. Barabbas' historical records are scoured for evidence of this enigmatic figure, whose existence is shrouded in mystery. Barabbas' biblical narrative is dissected for its theological implications, particularly in relation to the concept of justice and mercy. Barabbas' theological debates continue to stir conversations about the nature of sin and redemption. The public sentiment of the time, often hostile and unpredictable, played a crucial role in the unfolding of events. It is a testament to the power of collective choice and its ability to shape history. The Barabbas narrative, with its blend of historical and theological elements, remains a subject of fascination and inquiry, inviting us to ponder the depths of human nature and the forces that drive our decisions. The Gospel of Mark and the Quest for Truth Deciphering the Strange Ending, Fact or Fiction The abrupt conclusion of the Gospel of Mark has long puzzled scholars and believers alike. The narrative halts with the women fleeing the tomb, too frightened to speak to anyone. This silence poses a profound question. If they remained silent, how did the tale reach Mark? This paradox challenges the very fabric of the Gospel's transmission. Several theories have emerged to explain this enigmatic ending. Some propose that the original ending may have been lost, suggesting a textual gap that was never filled. Others argue for a deliberate literary device, designed to provoke thought and reflection. A third camp considers the possibility of a later edition, a forged ending that disrupts the original flow. Each hypothesis carries weight, yet none provide definitive answers. The debate rages on with implications that stretch far beyond the text itself. The quest for truth in this matter is not merely academic. It strikes at the heart of historical authenticity and the reliability of sacred narratives. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of ancient texts, the strange ending of Mark remains a testament to the enduring quest for understanding in the face of the unknown. The Controversy of Secret Mark Insights and Implications The Secret Mark manuscript has long been shrouded in mystery and controversy, igniting debates that reach far beyond the academic sphere. At the heart of the discussion lies the question of authenticity, with scholars divided over whether Morton Smith, who discovered the text, was unveiling a profound truth or perpetrating an elaborate forgery. The implications of secret Mark are profound, as it suggests an expansion of the canonical gospel, potentially offering new insights into early Christian practices and beliefs. The text's contentious nature stems from its language and style, which some argue are non-Markan, casting doubt on its origins. The translation of secret Mark has been scrutinized for its vocabulary and substance, with critics suggesting it deviates from the known works of Mark. Early references to a Markan source have fueled speculation about the existence of additional teachings not included in the traditional gospel. Efforts to restore Morton Smith's reputation hinge on the validation of Secret Mark as a genuine historical document. The debate over Secret Mark is not merely an academic exercise. It touches upon the very foundations of Christian history and theology. As scholars and enthusiasts delve into the enigmatic text, the search for truth continues to captivate and challenge, promising to reshape our understanding of the New Testament narrative. The Scholarly Debate Morton Smith's authenticity questioned the scholarly arena is abuzz with the controversy surrounding Morton Smith and the alleged secret gospel of Mark. At the heart of the debate lies a question that challenges the very foundations of biblical scholarship. Is the manuscript authentic, or is it a masterful forgery? This question has not only sparked academic discourse, but has also captivated the imagination of the public, eager to uncover the truths behind sacred texts. The discourse is rife with arguments that range from the manuscript's linguistic patterns to historical anachronisms. Critics argue that the language used by Smith is uncharacteristic of the era he claims the manuscript originates from. Supporters counter with the complexity of the text which they say could not have been fabricated by a modern scholar without extensive knowledge of the period. Linguistic Analysis of the Manuscript, Historical Context, and Anachronisms The Complexity of the Text as Evidence of Authenticity The debate over Morton Smith's work is emblematic of a larger issue within the field of biblical studies. It raises questions about the legitimacy of modern scholarship and its approach to ancient texts, some scholars suggest that contemporary academia sometimes presumes an intellectual superiority over earlier scholars, 
claiming a proprietary right to refute issues that they believe were never addressed or understood in the past. This perspective is not without its critics, who argue for a more nuanced and evidence-based approach to such contentious topics. In the end, the authenticity of the secret gospel of Mark remains a tantalizing enigma, with the academic community divided and the public's curiosity piqued. The implications of this debate reach far beyond the confines of scholarly discourse, touching upon the very essence of faith and history. The Talpiot Tombs, Unearthing Early Christian History The Discovery of the Tomb of the Shroud and Its Significance In the year 2000, a monumental discovery was made on the historical slopes of Mount Zion, the Tomb of the Shroud. This remarkable find has since ignited a fervent discourse among scholars, theologians, and history enthusiasts alike. The Tomb of the Shroud stands as a testament to the intricate tapestry of early Christian history, offering a tangible connection to the narratives that have shaped religious thought for millennia. The significance of this discovery extends beyond mere archaeological interest. It serves as a pivotal point in understanding the socio-religious context of the time. Key insights gleaned from the site include the potential to cross-reference biblical narratives with tangible historical evidence, the implications for the study of burial customs and their evolution within early Christian communities, the opportunity to explore the DNA evidence which could unravel new dimensions of biblical genealogy, James Tabor's involvement in the re-exploration of the site, coupled with his scholarly contributions, has brought the Tomb of the Shroud to the forefront of public consciousness. His book, The Jesus Discovery, co-authored with Rami Arav, offers an exhaustive exposition of the findings, delving into topics such as the James Ossuary and DNA tests. The book's impact on both academic circles and the general public has been profound, sparking lively discussions and debates that resonate through the corridors of history. The Jesus Tomb Controversy – Evidence and Speculation The discovery of the Talpiot Tomb, also referred to as the Jesus Tomb, has ignited a firestorm of debate among scholars, historians, and theologians. At the heart of this controversy lies the question of whether the tomb could indeed be the final resting place of Jesus of Nazareth, a claim that challenges traditional Christian narratives. Skeptics argue that the presence of guards at the tomb would have made any theft of Jesus' body an impossibility, thus supporting the resurrection narrative. Proponents of the stolen body hypothesis, however, find this explanation less than satisfactory, suggesting alternative scenarios that could account for an empty tomb without invoking the miraculous. The discussion is further complicated by the following points. The socio-religious climate of the time was hostile, making grave robbing a highly risky endeavor. The Roman authorities had secured the tomb, adding an additional layer of difficulty for any would-be body snatchers. Modern scholarship often presents hypotheses that are seen as more fantastic and problematic than the gospel accounts themselves. Despite the fervent discussions and the plethora of theories, no consensus has been reached. The Talpiot tomb remains a subject of speculation, with each new piece of evidence adding layers to an already intricate puzzle. Reconciling archaeological findings with biblical narratives. The quest to harmonize archaeological discoveries with the stories of the Bible is a meticulous journey through history, faith, and science. The Talpiot tombs, unearthed in a remarkable discovery, have ignited a fervent debate among scholars, theologians, and historians alike. These tombs, which some suggest may have connections to figures from the New Testament, offer a tangible link to the past, yet they also pose challenging questions about the accuracy and interpretation of biblical texts. The Tomb of the Shroud and the Jesus Tomb have provided unprecedented insights into the burial customs and familial relationships of the period. DNA tests and ossuary examinations have opened new avenues for understanding the socio-religious dynamics of early Christianity. The Pivotal Moment of Choice Pilate's Strategy and the Crowd's Decision In a calculated move, Pilate presented the crowd with a choice between Jesus and Barabbas, a known insurrectionist. This decision was not made lightly. Pilate was aware of the political and social tensions at play. The Roman custom of releasing a prisoner during the Passover festival gave Pilate a unique opportunity to appease the crowd while attempting to avoid condemning an innocent man. The crowd's decision was pivotal. Influenced by the chief priests, the multitude chose Barabbas over Jesus, sealing the fate of both men. The following table summarizes the key figures involved in this momentous choice. In the face of overwhelming pressure, 
Pilate attempted to wash his hands of the responsibility, declaring his innocence in the matter. Yet the choice of the crowd was clear, and the echoes of their decision would resonate through history. The Exchange of Innocence for Guilt In the biblical narrative, the exchange of Barabbas for Jesus represents a profound moment where innocence is traded for guilt. Barabbas, a known criminal, is set free while Jesus, without sin, is condemned. This pivotal exchange underscores the central theme of redemption within Christian theology. The innocent Jesus is condemned to death. Barabbas, guilty of insurrection and murder, is released. The crowd chooses Barabbas over Jesus, influenced by the chief priests. The moment encapsulates the substitutionary atonement central to Christian belief, where the guiltless takes the place of the guilty. The decision made by Pilate and the crowd is a stark illustration of the human tendency to reject the good for the expedient. The release of Barabbas over Jesus is a decision that has echoed through the ages, challenging believers to reflect on the nature of justice, mercy, and grace, the symbolism of Barabbas's freedom. The release of Barabbas over Jesus presents a profound moment of symbolism in the biblical narrative. It was the exchange of the guilty for the innocent, a theme that resonates deeply with the core message of Christianity. Barabbas, a known insurrectionist and murderer, was set free while Jesus, who was without sin, took his place and faced crucifixion. The crowd's choice to free Barabbas and condemn Jesus reflects the human condition of choosing the familiar over the righteous. It underscores the grace that is offered to all, regardless of past transgressions. The implications of this event are far-reaching and can be summarized as follows. The representation of justice turned on its head, where the innocent is punished and the guilty is absolved. A vivid illustration of substitutionary atonement, where Jesus takes upon himself the punishment that others deserve. Barabbas's freedom symbolizes the new life offered to humanity through Christ's sacrifice. This pivotal moment raises questions about the nature of freedom and redemption. Barabbas was given an unexpected opportunity at redemption, a chance to start anew. Yet the Gospels do not tell us what he did with this gift. This silence invites reflection on our own lives and the freedom we have been granted through grace. Reflections on redemption and substitution. This act of substitution, where Jesus took the place of Barabbas, and by extension all sinners, highlights the core of Christian redemption. The governor posed a pivotal question to the crowd. Which of the two do you want me to release for you? The choice was clear, yet the preference for Barabbas was a reflection of humanity's flawed nature. Barabbas's freedom serves as a metaphor for the grace extended to all. It is not earned, but given despite our guilt. The question that arises from this event is not only theological, but deeply personal. What are we doing with the freedom that has been granted to us through such a sacrifice? The crowd's decision to free Barabbas despite his notorious reputation, the substitution of Christ's innocence for Barabbas's guilt, the unmerited grace represented by Barabbas's unexpected release, the personal reflection on how we utilize the freedom gained from this act of mercy, personal implications of Barabbas's story. The story of Barabbas offers a profound reflection on the nature of freedom and redemption. We are all, in a sense, like Barabbas, guilty yet given the chance to be set free through the sacrifice of another. The question then becomes, what do we do with this freedom? The implications of Barabbas' story are deeply personal and challenge us to consider our own response to redemption, recognize our own guilt and the gravity of our actions, understand the magnitude of the sacrifice made on our behalf, reflect on the gift of freedom we have received, decide how we will live in light of this freedom. In the light of Barabbas' story, we are invited to ponder the weight of the freedom we carry and the life we choose to lead with it. It is a freedom not earned by our merit, but granted through grace. Barabbas' release is a mirror to our own lives, reflecting the pivotal choices we face when confronted with the gift of redemption. Will we run from our past, or will we embrace a transformed future? The narrative of Barabbas compels us to examine the path we take with the freedom we've been given. Barabbas' legacy and its challenges. Barabbas' legacy and its challenges. The skepticism surrounding Barabbas' existence. The figure of Barabbas in the Gospels has been a subject of debate among scholars and skeptics alike. His brief mention in the biblical narrative leaves much to the imagination, and the lack of historical records outside the Gospels fuels skepticism about his existence. Despite this, the unanimous inclusion of Barabbas' story in all four Gospels suggests a significant impact on early Christian thought. 
The skepticism is further compounded by the scarcity of details about Barabbas. The Gospels provide a glimpse into his character, describing him as a notorious prisoner involved in insurrection and murder. Yet these sparse references are all that we have to construct his historical profile. The choice of the multitude to release Barabbas over Jesus is a pivotal moment in the Gospels, highlighting themes of justice and mercy that resonate through the ages. While some question the veracity of Barabbas' existence, others see him as a powerful symbol within the Christian narrative. His release in place of Jesus encapsulates the exchange of guilt for innocence, a cornerstone of Christian theology. Barabbas as a representation of humanity. Barabbas' story is a profound illustration of the human condition. We are all Barabbas, sinners who stand guilty before the law, yet are offered an unexpected chance at freedom. His release, while a miscarriage of justice in the human sense, symbolizes the grace that is extended to all humanity through the sacrifice of the innocent. Barabbas was a known criminal, guilty of insurrection and murder. The crowd chose Barabbas over Jesus, preferring a notorious sinner to the sinless Son of God. This choice reflects humanity's tendency to reject the divine and choose the familiar, even when it is flawed. Barabbas' freedom came at the cost of an innocent life, a substitution that echoes through time as the ultimate act of love and redemption. The narrative of Barabbas challenges us to consider our own response to the gift of redemption. Are we like the crowd, swayed by the voices of the world, or do we recognize the value of the sacrifice made on our behalf? The story of Barabbas is not just a historical account, it is a mirror reflecting the choices we face and the grace that is offered to us. The question of what to do with our freedom. The narrative of Barabbas offers a profound reflection on the concept of freedom and the responsibilities it entails. What we choose to do with our freedom can define the course of our lives. The story compels us to consider not just the physical liberation Barabbas experienced, but also the spiritual and moral freedom each person is granted. Barabbas' unexpected opportunity at Redemption Barabbas, a man condemned for his crimes of murder, insurrection, and theft, found himself at the center of a divine exchange. His chains were to be broken, not by his own merit, but by the sacrifice of an innocent man. The crowd, influenced by the chief priests and elders, chose to release a notorious criminal over the Son of God, demonstrating a profound moment of grace and substitution. In this unexpected turn of events, Barabbas was granted freedom, a gift he neither earned nor deserved. It was a stark illustration of mercy, where the guilty is spared and the innocent bears the punishment. The implications of this moment are far-reaching and deeply personal. Consider the following points. Barabbas's release is a mirror to our own spiritual condition, where we, like him, are offered redemption despite our transgressions. The choice made by the multitude reflects the human tendency to reject the divine, favoring the familiar, even if it is flawed. Jesus' willingness to take Barabbas' place is the essence of the gospel message, highlighting the depth of God's love for humanity. As we reflect on Barabbas' story, we are faced with the same decision, to accept the redemption offered to us through Christ's sacrifice or to turn away from the gift of eternal life. Barabbas' unexpected opportunity at redemption is a powerful reminder of the grace that is extended to all. The gospel demonstrated through Barabbas' release. The release of Barabbas over Jesus is a profound illustration of the gospel message. It was a matter of innocence versus evil, yet the crowd chose the release of a known criminal over the Son of God, unveiling hidden truths. Facts about Barabbas you don't know in the rich tapestry of biblical history Explore the enigmatic tale of Barabbas and early Christianity through scholarly debates and archaeological discoveries. The figure of Barabbas stands out as a complex and intriguing character. His story intersects with the narratives of peasant intelligence, imperial power, and the nascent Christian faith. This article delves into lesser-known facts about Barabbas, examining the enigmatic nature of his portrayal in the Gospels, the scholarly debates surrounding the texts that mention him, and the archaeological discoveries that provide a context for understanding his place in early Christian history. Key Takeaways Barabbas represents the underestimated intelligence of common folk and their ability to challenge imperial authority, as seen in the surprising choice made by a hostile public, favoring his release over Jesus. The scholarly debate over the authenticity of Secret Mark and the strange ending of the Gospel of Mark raises questions about the historicity and interpretation of biblical narratives. 
Archaeological findings such as the Tomb of the Shroud and the Jesus Tomb have ignited controversies and discussions on reconciling these discoveries with biblical accounts. James Tabor's speculations on the origins of Christianity contrast with traditional beliefs, highlighting the complexities of interpreting early Christian history and the power of symbols like the empty tomb. The rapid growth of Christianity, despite claims of astonishing lies within its foundational texts, underscores the enduring faith and global impact of this spiritual movement. The Enigma of Barabbas, Peasant Cunning versus Imperial Power The Enigma of Barabbas, Peasant Cunning versus Imperial Power The Underestimated Intelligence of the Common Folk The narrative of Barabbas is steeped in the remarkable cunning of the common folk whose intellectual prowess was often overshadowed by the might of imperial power. Their ability to navigate the treacherous waters of political intrigue and public sentiment is a testament to their underestimated intelligence. Historical accounts suggest that these peasants seemingly defeated and marginalized were capable of outwitting government officials and swaying a hostile public. This feat, if not a stroke of pure genius, certainly indicates a level of strategic thinking that belies their humble status. The motivations driving this small group to risk everything, even in the face of overwhelming opposition, remain a subject of fascination and speculation. Key points to consider in understanding their intelligence include the strategic use of public sentiment to their advantage, the ability to outmaneuver government officials despite limited resources, the historicity of the accounts which suggests a foundation of truth beneath the narrative. The story of Barabbas, therefore, is not just a tale of a criminal preferred by the masses. It is a complex interplay of intellect, emotion, and survival against the backdrop of a society in flux. A clash with authority how Barabbas became a symbol. The tale of Barabbas is a testament to the enigmatic figure that he represents a character whose story intertwines with the very fabric of ancient narratives and the linguistic origins of his name. Barabbas, whose patronymic name suggests the son of the father became a symbol of the common man's struggle against the ruling powers. His narrative is a complex tapestry of peasant cunning and imperial authority, where the underdog's wit challenges, the established order, Barabbas' ancient texts reveal a figure that is both reviled and revered, a paradox that captures the public's imagination. The linguistic origins of Barabbas hint at a deeper meaning, perhaps a coded message or a reflection of societal values of the time. As an enigmatic figure, Barabbas' story is not just a footnote in history. It is a mirror reflecting the perennial conflict between the oppressed and the oppressors. The story of Barabbas also highlights the role of public sentiment in shaping historical narratives. The choice of Barabbas over another by the public reveals the unpredictable nature of popular opinion and its impact on the course of events. This decision, influenced by a multitude of factors, underscores the power of the masses in the ancient world, a power that continues to resonate through the ages. The role of public sentiment in the Barabbas narrative. The narrative of Barabbas is a tapestry woven with threads of public sentiment, scholarly discussions, and theological debates. The public's choice of Barabbas over Jesus is a pivotal moment in biblical history, reflecting the complex interplay between the will of the people and the machinations of power. This choice has been scrutinized through various lenses. Reflect on the personal impact of freedom and its transformative potential. Assess the moral choices that come with newfound liberty. Contemplate the role of community and relationships in the stewardship of freedom. In the wake of liberation, we are faced with the challenge of choice. The path we take can lead to growth and fulfillment, or to squandered potential and regret. The tale of Barabbas is not just a historical account, it is a mirror reflecting our own dilemmas. We are all, in a sense, freed by circumstances or by grace, and must then decide how to navigate the complexities of life that follow. Conclusion in the biblical narrative, Barabbas stands as a complex figure whose brief mention carries profound implications. Despite the scarcity of verses dedicated to him, Barabbas' release over Jesus encapsulates the stark contrast between human justice and divine grace. He was a notorious criminal, known for his violent acts of rebellion and murder. Yet in a pivotal moment, he was chosen by the crowd over the innocent Christ. This decision by the people, influenced by the chief priests and elders, highlights the human tendency to reject the divine for the familiar, even if it is flawed. The account of Barabbas challenges us to reflect on the nature of freedom and redemption. As Barabbas was set free, 
we are reminded of the gospel message where Jesus takes the place of sinners. The question that lingers is what we do with the freedom granted to us through Christ's sacrifice. Barabbas's story is a mirror to our own, urging us to consider whether we accept the substitutionary gift of life offered by Jesus, just as Barabbas unwittingly did when he was released. The historical and spiritual examination of Barabbas's role in biblical history thus serves as a catalyst for introspection about our own choices and the grace that is extended to us all. Frequently asked questions. Who was Barabbas in the biblical narrative? Barabbas was a notorious prisoner mentioned in the New Testament Gospels. He was known as a violent insurrectionist, murderer, and thief, and was held in a Jerusalem prison during the time of Jesus' trial. Why was Barabbas chosen to be released instead of Jesus? Pilate, the Roman governor, offered the crowd a choice between releasing Jesus or Barabbas, hoping they would choose Jesus. However, influenced by the chief priests and elders, the crowd chose Barabbas, likely out of envy and the desire to reject Jesus. What does Barabbas represent in the Gospel accounts? Barabbas represents humanity and the sinner's opportunity for redemption. In a theological sense, his release in exchange for Jesus' crucifixion symbolizes how Jesus took the place of sinners, offering them freedom through his sacrifice. Is there historical evidence for the existence of Barabbas? While the historical details about Barabbas are sparse, his role in the trial of Jesus is recorded in all four Gospels, suggesting that his release was a significant and memorable event at the time. What happened to Barabbas after his release? The Bible does not provide details about Barabbas' life following his release. His fate after the pivotal moment in the Gospels remains a matter of speculation and is not documented in the scriptural texts. How does Barabbas' story relate to modern believers? Barabbas's story serves as a reminder of the grace and redemption offered through Christ's sacrifice. It challenges believers to reflect on the freedom granted by Jesus' substitutionary death and how they choose to live in light of this gift. As we conclude this journey into the mysteries of Barabbas, we'd like to express our gratitude to our viewers, our true heroes, for joining us on this exploration. If you enjoyed this video and want to uncover more fascinating insights, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell. Together, let's continue to embark on exciting adventures and discover the untold stories of history. Thank you for being part of our community of curious minds. Stay curious, stay inspired, and keep exploring. Until next time, heroes, farewell.